boy cuddle. Uh, <laughs> life is life is funny. Um, hmm. What can I say? Uh, hmm. Like. My mental has been stable. Um, even when things go wrong, I've been working on <clears throat> not being too impulsive, not dwelling in it too much, or a moment where it's just like, I'm a little upset about it, but I won't dwell in it, so... I've been, I've been working pretty hard at that. And safe to say, it's pretty good. It's been going good. College football is back. NFL is, you know, the preseason is already over, ready for the regular season to start. Um, but, yeah, the most exciting part is college football. So, week zero already passed <laughs> and Florida State is already like I want to say done but losing losing like getting upset by Georgia Tech was very uh bad that's very bad um <laughs> man look here's the thing I work with some people who are some Florida State alumni, Florida State fans, you know, and um, I spared, you know, I didn't, I didn't bring it up, I didn't say anything, I was hush, hush, quiet, quiet, you know, chilling. So let's get week zero over with. Let's, let's focus on week one. So I'm ready to see these upcoming matchups. Um, hold on, let me see. I don't know what happened to Juju uh, Smith-Schuster. Or at least by the Patriots. But that's not good. Damn, Juju already on out. That's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. All right. Let's see the schedule. Yeah, the full schedule. <clears throat> All right. So as of August 29th, the season officially is underway. All right. Because not too many teams play week zero. Central Connecticut. I've never heard of them. All right. Big game, big game. Wait, hold on. UCF tickets at $5? I mean, they play in New Hampshire, so New Hampshire. Sorry. So Colorado will open up with North Dakota State. Hmm. Please, please come up with a dog, please. Because they ain't going to be able to live, leave the, uh, live that down. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, Oklahoma opened up with Temple. Georgia versus Clemson, week one. My God. My God. We starting off with a top 15 matchup. 12 o'clock. All right. I got Georgia. Georgia taking that. All right. Um... Penn State start with West Virginia. Okay, Penn State. 
But I, oh, they starting off in West Virginia. So that might be a goodie. That could possibly be an upset, depending on how Penn State starts. Hmm. Because I'm only going to talk about the good games. We don't have time for this. Mm, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Tennessee. Ooh. Miami and Florida. My gosh. That bit 157. Oh my God. Sheesh. For the nosebleed. That's understandable. That's a big game. But you already know Miami going off with that. I got my hand in that one. Is there any other, like... Okay. Okay, Ben, let's start with Western Kentucky. Dang, no. Hmm. Okay, Texas A&M and North Notre Dame. Um, mm. upset. I got. I'm going with SEC. Texas A&M is knocking off Notre Dame. There's a possibility. In at Kyle Field, yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Texas A&M for the upset. <clears throat> Any other big game? No, not really. Ooh, Sunday night. LSU versus USC. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You got to love college football. Oh, for, for Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Okay. And another Florida State game. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. What's wrong with Florida State, man? I know that boy Rodell. I, I know he, he, uh. <laughs> Should have stayed, my boy. I really wish he stayed, me personally. Damn. All right, so for LSU, USC, I got... <laughs> That's going to be a toughie. Damn, and then I think Malachi Nelson, he transferred from USC. He went to Boise State, and he lost his – wow, he lost the starting position. Boy, you can't make this stuff up here. Um, but Florida State and Boston College, will Florida State bounce back? I don't know. I don't know. You lose the Boston College, you might as well sit DJ for the rest of the year. All right, fingers crossed. I, I got, damn, bro. Like, how did how y'all suck like this? This is not good. This is not good. All right, I'm gonna go Florida State. Please don't disappoint me, bro. All right, that's the big games for the for week one. Hold on, let me see what's popping on week two. Just real quick. Um, oh, yep, we got, we got some good matchups. Okay, I, I didn't need to even go down that far. But yeah, man. College football.
20 million championship or bust roster. It's crazy how the money is just like just being thrown around in college right now. Is a bully and hypocrite for reporter band. Bomb bomb. That boy. boy. <laughs> I'm gonna get on my nerve, dog. Better shine away from defending champion Michigan. Okay. That makes sense. What you mean you feel for Florida State? That's definitely sarcasm. They're in trouble. Okay, that's more accurate. There we go. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens next. It's college football. I love college football, bro. I don't know if you could tell, but yeah. But what is popping in the YouTube world? I ain't gonna lie, as far as like Madden and college football, like the video game, it's cool, but it'd be some moments where it's like, I just, I don't wanna play anymore. Too many moments. Top rookie plays. Yeah, let's see who did something. I ain't gonna watch too much of it, but. Happy kids are successful kids. When you choose a tuition-free K-12 powered online school, you join more than two million. Take care of your own guys, I think. Like, like they were saying up top, you know, people who come in, they realize if I do what I'm supposed to do, they're going to take care of me. Yeah, you guys mentioned the Ayuk stuff. Oh. Uh -huh. Baker. Sticks it right on Baker. Little hook route to the right. That boy, Milton Knight. Nice. You know, it's amazing to me how this has probably been the best they've run the ball on this drive with a couple run plays that I've hit. Look out. Get out of here. Fans love it. <laughs> they love yeah. it. There it goes. Wow. <laughs> first and 10, a second first and 10. You end up with a first and 15. I actually thought he released that one. And running, but the big thing was Joe Miller stepped up in the pocket, looking down the field to get rid of the ball. As he pump fakes and almost loses it, probably helpful to have those big mitts on the ball. Then he runs though, but you guys are the same age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice look. Beautiful. That's a talk. And he was covered by a linebacker. I would say it might have been Masao trying to cover a wide receiver, deep crosser. Draw the Bakke makes one man miss inside the 30. And a good run there to the giant 27-yard line. Jen, they got Jace, rookie out of Alabama, running back with... I remember this. Nah, I remember this commentary right here, bro. I thought my phone was screwed. <laughs> I thought my phone was screwed. And finally, now by Bob, with help from... Guys, if you're looking for a school that is 100% online, offers low cost tuition, and has no, over no. 40 yard guard, and that's Lenny. they pick up 13 Lenny. and they're knocking on the door. Washington wrapped up and taken down. Big play, but he can flat out fly. Number 25, little end around. This is Washington with room. 40, midfield, and down at the 46 yard line of the Falcons. I wish they said else. where they were from. Second and 15. Penix over the middle. Washington is open, and that's a first down. 
uh, the, the quarterback's coach that, that talked to him about that and talked about diet and all the different things, working out, getting some different exercises that are going to help him be a little bit more shifty in the backfield and do some of those things. So I think there's an abundance of those guys in this football team that's going to pay dividends down the road. Here's right again. Hits the hole. Gets the first down. Knocked out of bounds. 5'11", 210 with sprinter speed. Jalen Wright gets the call again. Left side again. Hmm. Wright stays on his feet. He's got another first down. Let's see. I told you that challenge was wrong. As far as like Here's talent. Here's Jalen Wright up the middle. And he's in. Touchdown. The rookie out of Tennessee in the end zone. You know, I, I think that the, the balance of the veterans and the rookies that they brought in or the young guys uh, they brought in we really have done a good service to Look out. Here goes right. Inside the 40 for the first down. Gets the chance to show what he can do That's in a game. Up. Pickett will throw. Plenty of time. Slings it and it's broken up by Nate Williams. Williams. Terrell Austin, defensive coordinator. He will be the His truth. team to come up with a play, a takeaway at this point. Here comes a blitz. Beanie Bishop had blitz. That is Cade Stover. Cade Stover. That name sounds mad familiar. Where is he from? Cade Stover. Is that Ohio State? Yep. That's what I was thinking. That's crazy. It's an inside handoff there, and it's Jordan again. Jordan, this time to the outside, gets a nice bit of blocking. That's a 10-yard gain. Third down and eight. Pick it. Going down the far sideline, and it's off the back of Nate Wiggins, who had his last recovery drop. And he pick it to throw. Flush from the pocket, slings it, and it is broken up by Nate Wiggins again. What an opening series for the Ravens' first round draft pick. John Harbaugh here at age 37. And his pass is broken up. Pick it on the roll now. Finds Shipley, and he finds the end zone. Third down and two. Johnson the throw, extending, running, tripped up and taken down at the line of scrimmage by Dayton Hall for an 11-yard gain and a Ravens first down. Leary mm. throws, back to Wade, he's to the 10, the 5, and he's down to the 4-yard line. Right side. Quarterback sneak. He's in. Devin Leary in for the touchdown. Spread it out on third down. Daniels pulls the trigger, looking for the deep ball down the sideline. And it's hauled in. Deyami Brown. Great snag for the first down. Wow. Okay. Recipes written by the, hand. The talent is lost to time. Are now being analyzed and restored using the power of Dell AI. Yeah, the talent is definitely there. Of course. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, first of all, they knew they had to pay cut, so I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. Guacamole Doritos. I actually had the opportunity to try. Hmm. 
I didn't know if I should or not. I didn't know. Upset by Ken, by Corner Ken, Corner Ken. Okay. 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 Dyson is back. Why do these exist? Wait, hold on. I know damn well Dyson ain't make no uh no headphones, did they? You know what? I fuck with Crumble. Hold on. Hold on. I'll watch this. <laughs> I'll watch this. Man, this is, see that's the thing about it. Like I do love Halloween, oh, it melted. but it's just like well the fall season, you know. But it's just something about that pumpkin shit. Like I don't know. It, in my mouth. it looks like some kitchen hardware. It's time for your weekly crumble cookie review with your snack daddy, the only daddy you'll ever need. This week's selection of crumble delights or horror. Berries and cream, peanut butter blossom, iced oatmeal, s'mores brownie. They have a pumpkin square. Start off with their berries and cream. They describe this as a tango of strawberries and blueberries, a fing tango topped with cool whipped cream and a smothering of blueberry topping. Oh, so there's berries in the cookie and then it's topped with berries. I was super confused. I mean, it looks like they're oatmeal cookie this thing is already like falling apart it's taking like seven fingers to hold this bitch together but you can see little bits of the berry right looks to be a light whipped cream or come on boy on it and then Eat that, that berry compote the compote is almost as dark as the back of my neck um let's see what we got here whipped cream is the immediate star just because it's so airy light delicate if you will let's go on for the cookie itself you don't taste any berry in the cookie i've literally bit into a few of the berries it just tastes like dough and sugar kind of grainy ass cookie if we're being honest crumble kind of pasty too what are you doing all right let's try some just compote on top uh, it's like children's benadryl not super cough syrupy kind of a weird texture too it's like a really watery kind of a syrup it's really that's fucking hilarious boy <laughs> Cause it is some like some jams that do taste like medicine. And it's ridiculous. Y'all need to work on that. They really lack in body. There's just something very unpleasantly viscous about it. I don't know. Damn, Next I wanted to try that one too. Peanut butter blossom cookie. An iconic peanut butter cookie rolled in white sugar and decorated with a rich scoop of fudge frosting. This is gonna piss me off immediately because I, I'm not a fan of just, just naked sugar on things. I'm just gonna <laughs> sap out that bias. Right? Cause that's the thing, that shit tastes like sand. Okay, the sugar's not as bad as I anticipated it. You don't really notice it. So that begs the question, what the fuck is it for? If you barely notice it texture wise or taste wise, what's the purpose? You just want the bits to shine, you just want it to glitter. The frosting's nice, it's smooth, creamy. Not that annoying, sticky fudge icing where it's thick, like you damn near gotta like apply 50 PSI of pressure to get through the damn icing. More cocoa than sweet bitterness of the chocolate in there, which is really nice. The cookies are very good. I'm ready for the iced oatmeal. Cause I like the little ones from like the little dollar store and shit, you know, those are good. So I'm trying to see exactly what crumble like up to to even charge your regular price for the cookie. That don't make no sense. It's supposed to be a thin cookie. So you should take some, you know what I'm saying? Take like a dollar off that bitch or something. Cookie itself, almost just like a note of peanut butter, not a deep, rich peanut butter. It's nice. I ain't over the hill for it. It's cool. Iced oatmeal, sweet and spiced. This cinnamon oatmeal cookie is smothered with a yummy vanilla cream Yo. cheese glaze. So real OGs know that they are making a bootleg version of those goddamn archway oatmeal cookies, the iced ones, and those, those are the tits. Those are the apps. Them bitches look a little more fancier than the ones I had. 
the package literally say ice cookie. That's literally what it say. But I don't know what them, what are these? These look a little fancy. How much are these? Archway cookie. All right. Iced oatmeal. Oh, that ain't bad. Yeah, four dollars. That's not bad. But no, nah, like I said, what a dollar. Dollar one. You feel me? The little great value joints. Then the other ones, iced oatmeal. That's all they say on it. But yeah, them bitches used to. Yeah, they used to go crazy for me. Um. Oatmeal cookies, the iced ones, and those, those are the tits. Those are the absolute pinnacle of a store-bought cookie, right? It's smothered from damn near tip to toenail, you know what I mean? Dry. Shit, it's dry. Let me be fair, let's, let's try and... Damn! Get to the middle, because that was, that was crazy. It looks like a sponge. It looks like some kitchen hardware. Let's, let's see what we got. It would be nice, but can I get some butter in this bitch or something? A great taste. You taste those spices with a cinnamon nutmeg kind of a thing you got going on here, right? It's dense the way you want a really good oatmeal cookie to be. It just needs a bit more butter. It's not as terrible as I thought. It just needs a bit more butter. And then that icing on top, you do get like really good crisp from it. And the icing is like almost absurdly sweet, but it is such a thin layer of it kind of balances with the cookie itself. You know what I mean? Because the cookie's not very sweet at all. Disappointing. Now the s'mores brownie, a decadent explosion of rich flavors, including brownie, graham cracker, milk chocolate chips, and perfectly melted Whoa. marshmallows. So we got like basically like a graham. That look, I might get that. Graham cracker cookie on top of a brownie cookie, chocolate shizzle, and then a marshmallow. Go and try to get a big ass bite with everything. You're doing too much, sweetie. You don't get the two separate notes of the graham cracker and the brownie. You just taste chocolate, right? Why does it, why is everything trash? Maybe he just I don't know. Maybe maybe it's his taste buds. I don't know, nigga. Like this is disappointing. I really wanted to try one of these. So that also defeats the purpose of the chocolate below the marshmallow on top of the graham cracker cookie. So basically, you got three separate elements that might as well just basically be the same thing because they just there's no differential. You know what I mean? Then that marshmallow's annoying because if you're not eating a hard, hot ass marshmallow, it starts to congeal and like turn into like almost a like rubbery consistency. It's not the shit not pleasant. It's not nice. I mean, once you get into the center, the consistency improves. It just becomes a good chocolate cookie but it doesn't do what it's supposed to do mm. you still don't get s'mored from this super moist though in the middle it's moist as shit, but i guess it has no choice to be you got seven layers on the cookie and now because we're on the cusp of fall the pumpkin square a moist fluffy pumpkin square marbled with brown sugar cinnamon butter smothered with a light vanilla cream cheese frosting and topped with a sprinkle what of taste. warm spice is a warm spice. All right, let's let's take you in right here. Let's see. What that <laughs> God damn. Hold on. This is about to be something special. You can see how moist it is. You can see it dripping at the virtual seams. Juice is flowing all through the bitch. Let's just see what we got here. Oh, it melted in my mouth. It just out, out, melted in my mouth. Oh, that's nice. The cake is going to remind you German chocolate cake kind of a texture um, because you know German chocolate cake has the coconut in it so there's going to be a degree of moisture that the um, coconut imparts in the cake from the cooking process it's weird that's the first thing I got from it and it's not like annoyingly pumpkin either like subtle you just get a really nice butter cake with like a hint of that wretched gourd pumpkin right that so this is a pumpkin pot nigga He probably like pumpkin pie or something like that, you know. It's sorry, right. and that, and that's my thing. That's how I knew. Like maybe it's his taste buds. Cause I'm like, bro, ain't no way in hell all these is nasty, and then you love the pumpkin. See, I knew it. I figured. Cause you know, 
I figured. Cream cheese frosting on top adds that little bit of twang, just breaks up the sweetness in the perfect way because the icing would be super sweet otherwise, of course. But it's nice because this cake isn't crazy sweet. It's decadent, indulgent, it's pleasant to the palate. Damn near sensation. Crumble has proven time and time again that they need to focus on cake. Call it crumble cakes. What do you mean? Y'all do cookies on the side. But let me know your favorite crumble cookie in the comments below. Folks, I've been me. You continue to be you. And I will see you soon. That's Click nuts. Subscribe. That's nuts. Why do y'all do this? Like, y'all... Uh... Y'all boys be disrespecting OG, bro. That's just crazy. At the end of the day, you gotta embrace your flaws. You know what I'm saying? You're already one of one. So my, you might as well be the best version of yourself. You feel me? Like, it don't matter what the fuck the next person got, what that person got, what the fuck you got. Because you got a lot going on. You feel me? You really him it. You don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, lock the fuck in, son. The haters. Everybody else, it's you versus the world. Real shit though, you know what I mean? Everybody got flaws, see? Duke don't got eyebrows. <laughs> At the end of the day. How he shot, why he shot Duke like that? On some random shit. Like I was very like hyped up for a second. APS GTA characters AI. I don't know. This is like 42 year old Duke. This Duke Murphy. This is Duke Murphy. This is Duke Murphy right here. <laughs> I, he like uh one of the that drive the cabs in GTA 4 and they hop out trying to fight you and shit. I look the same. I'm a GTA character IRL. I have five stars IRL. No more. Chris next door. He like one of them skating. Oh, he like nigga. He like 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 a top dealer GTA 4. Like top of the top. Dealer. You can't f it up or he's gonna Ooh. your whole oh, family. Yeah. NPS GTA characters AI. I don't know. This is yeah, like 42 year old. But 42 year old. Are you okay, man? Crazy. That is disrespectful. Damn. Cut it out. <laughs> well, he gonna say he gonna lose weight in this one. Damn. Nah. Look, copy chat. That really might nah, no bullshit. Like all jokes aside, no bullshit. This is literally me in December though. No bullshit. And who this white? I don't think that was the best idea, fam. Y'all out here bullying that little bot like that. All right, he come back and lay the tag on you for real. <laughs> I mean, all right, it's gonna be laser tag for real. You keep playing with these damn robots, y'all. Stop it. I thought that when the little pig was going to market, I thought that he was like going grocery shopping. Like, I didn't think that he was getting slaughtered. I'm sorry, what? I thought that when the little pig was going to market, I thought... <laughs> Way to just fuck my shit up. <laughs> that was great. Bitch. So you've been in some pretty big, like, Hollywood movies and stuff like that, like some pretty big Hollywood productions? Some. I don't... You wanna build your shoulder? Duty! I got got him. Smother! He ain't making this. Oh, what, what the? the fuck? Okay, that's cool. Well, that's cool. Watch this. Well, that's cool. What year did America gain its independence? Oh gosh. 1917. 1776. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't know. Any guesses? Uh, 19. Fuck. Oh! <laughs> it's preseason! <laughs> I'm putting my kicks on right now. This year, last year, watch. I'm fucking unstoppable. The fact that he said he's gonna put his cleats on, I really believed him for a second. Why did why did you not? Uh, I'm putting my pizza on right now. Jesus. Like every single time. Oh, 
That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm even mad for you, Pop. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm low key pissed for you, man. Cause why play games like this? <laughs> You said a whole lot without saying anything. I'm pissed because it, it looked like ginger ale. Let me, let me find out. Is... What the f You know you pushed off. You know you pushed off, man. Hunter, you know you pushed off. That's kind of ironic. Boys really be risking it. Is I don't curse him out. This kid is a genius because if you have any this is how quickly a marathon swimmer stays hydrated during a race. First, they have to carefully drive a boat closely to the swimmer. Then once they're next to him, they hold a bottle above his head while it's attached to a rope. And when the swimmer is ready, he can now drink without wasting any time in the race. This is how quickly a marathon swimmer stays hydrated during a race. First, they have to carefully drive a boat. It's pretty cool. Hi. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. That's hilarious. I ain't gonna lie. She said sorry like the baby was gonna... <laughs> it's okay. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what's up. If you're a military... I rock with my dog. She said she love me and I said who is you? Oh. Damn, huh, what you saying? My hair on me like a nigga super saiyan. Hey, 10, 11, 3rd. Left pocket full of pink feelings. Right pocket got blues in it. Don't send no packs to me. I know what to do with it. This is another one of those uh, Nashville hot chickens. Left pocket full of That morning in my life as a... See, everybody got a Nashville hot chicken. But some of y'all chicken really don't be hot. We got about a 200 piece going today. Better go and wheel it on down and baptize it inside that grease. As soon as it hit, you want to roll it. And it's a good day to be frying chicken too. Look at that. Go and roll it on down. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that right there. Perfect. We frying perfect. Now we're going to probably flash fry these things and get it extra crispy. We'll be back in about another five minutes, lift it up and double fry it. What? All right. That chicken done been baptized. Time to pull out that oil. Look at this right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Golden brown. Golden brown. Stop. And they crispy know. too. I'm going to bite it in one in a few. Show you how crispy it is. Give me about five minutes. Let these things cool off. And we about to get to crunching. Oh, you can hear that. We got about a 200. Don't nobody fry no chicken like my boy. <laughs> I've been seeing everyone and their mother make the famous Asian cucumber salad, so I'm going to give it a try. If you don't have a mandolin. See, I've been seeing a lot of you chefs. 
do this as of lately. Make y'all little bowls and cups and shit. I see, I see what you've been doing, man. And I'm going to start trying a few of them. No, I'm not. And it's all good. Just go ahead and use the knife. Either way works. Kaka. Kaka not. This will be killing me. Out. Kaka. Kakan. Ouch. Kakan. Ouch. Hmm. Kakan at me. Kakan at me. That is weird. Have you ever seen this image right here? No, I've never seen that. You've never seen that before? I don't think so. No. Yeah, that's crazy. So that is called Kilroy was here. Yeah. And it's like one of the first like memes almost. Because I guess during like World War II, a lot of US soldiers would leave that behind. The cure word was here, the little guy, so that like when other soldiers were had to go in there and they seen that they would know like, oh, someone else made it out of here alive type thing. Mm, okay, yeah. You know what That's I mean? Wild. It was just this thing that everybody kind of adapted and would draw everywhere where these soldiers were down to make it a competition on like trying to get in the most like weirdest places. Yeah. Where it even ended up, I think they said in like Stalin's like bathroom or something. Really? Yeah, like someone somehow was trying to get in there. Yeah. And I guess on the enemy side, they thought it was a real dude. Really? Like they thought Kiwar was like a real like person damn near. Doing all this. And I heard that they even damn near put like a bounty. On Kilroy. On Kilroy, yeah. I'm Because they would see it everywhere they went. They will see this like this graffiti. Yeah, yeah so they're was like, all okay, over the so Kilroy, this is. Have you ever seen this? That's cool as fuck. Hey, y'all been saying anyone can kick field goals, so I went and got a D1 free safety. We're about to see how far you get. You kicked before? Yeah, I was 12. You kicked field goals? Yeah. At 12? Nobody was rushing, but I really used to do this. Bang. You could tilt it to the right a little bit, too. This guy knows. I know from that and watching your video. Hey, we going for 50. What's the furthest you ever hit? From the 30. So 40. That lean was good, or you want it differently? A little bit more. A little bit more. You want it like here? Yeah. All right, you weren't lying. We going for 50, I'm telling you. Bang. Right down the middle. All right, this is your furthest ever. How old were you when you hit it? 12. You hit 40 at 12. Yeah. I mean, it was a youth ball, so it was squishy. Hey. Bang. Come on now. Right down the middle. You like the third kicker on the roster? Nah, I'm not a kicker at all. Like emergency kicker? If it comes down to it, then. Goodness. Come on now. Come on now. That's 50. I think the reason you're that because it's short. That's exactly what it is. Shout out to Dreamer. Looks a lot further. 60 looks a lot further. If I just kick it the same way. Get there. Oh, no way. It's short. Hey, Y'all been saying it. Notice how you might. You almost got that, Bill. Your PC hey, yo, what the Notice fuck is might... the. No, no, no. I'm not getting into it. No. You're a PC or console no. gamer? No. Even y'all slang retarded. I mean, not retarded. Sorry. I wasn't even supposed to say that. Y'all, y'all been, y'all been. Getting all upset by, by words and shit now. It's, it's, oh my God. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas get on my damn nerves, bro. Like, what the fuck? You feel what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, what the, like, what's going on with people to where it's just, like, now words are becoming, like, cancelable. Like, it's not like they saying some shit where it's just, like, I don't know, bro. Like, y'all, y'all so, y'all so, some hoes. And now it's to a point where it's just, like, y'all just leave out the context because you want to be a hoe. Folk get tired of that shit, man. Like, now we got to work, watch little tit-for-tat words and shit. Like, bro, y'all niggas, y'all niggas is irritating. Fuck. I'm sorry. I, I know I went on a rant, but god damn. Like, y'all niggas, you know, fucking nerds, bro. <laughs> like, hmm. Because recently, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to, um, the Glorilla little unreleased thing that she was doing, and she said the word. And folks was like, oh, y'all still saying that in 2024? And, and having, oh, oh. A lot of y'all niggas is not mature enough to even be coming at people about words. A lot of y'all priorities are, are fucked up, but you worried about a person using a word. Fucking idiots. Like, is there, there are more issues out here that we can actually handle Rather than you stop your time to get mad about a fucking Jesus, y'all are irritating, bro. What was it? What was another word? Because I think when Lizzo, Lizzo got in trouble for saying a word, that nigga say, 
on a regular. But you know, apparently once we hit a certain statue of view viewership, niggas can't use certain words no more. Like y'all stupid. Giving a modest appearance. So y'all just saying demur for for anything? The the more I don't give a damn. Like it's getting bad. It's getting bad. Like the slang ain't even good no more, guys. Is it because I wasn't like born after two thousand? You know, I I'm starting to think that's what it is. I'm starting to think that's what it is because I'm out of the loop. I'm out of the loop because it's just like every time I turn around, it's, it's new words that doesn't even make sense. Like when I was growing up, slang made sense. Everything made sense. You children. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the uncle roll. You, you fucking children, bro. My God. You gotta love, you gotta love. I just wanna chill and twist the lot. Catch stunts in my 745. You drive me crazy. Show this is how you make skinny at the bottom. You take the rope in. Put it over your jeans. And then just push it up like that. Man, what y'all doing? Y'all come on. Y'all take it all day. We're gonna miss the button. Man, y'all gonna be the one that's walking to school. I remember them days too. Jeff Peter's at the basketball court, bro. Alright, alright. Hey, I just told Pino we're gonna meet him halfway. Alright, that's good. Uh trying to shake off the intercept. Have you ever loved someone so much That gotta be my favorite Chris Brown moment right there. That shit is funny. Have you ever loved someone so much? Just bobbing to the old school, bro. Bobbing to the old school. You're looking to get We are and that's the thing, it this shit came that song came out way before I was born, but the to feel that Bob and grow up listening to it was like was everything. Just just that kind of music around that time, New Jack Swing and stuff, like I really love that shit, man. Just imagine being alive around the time like that shit was popping. F eleven donated one dollar, thousand pound stare. No, don't start, bro. You're six foot two sleeping on your side. You're the reason they invented double doors. Your parents raised a good man, but you raised your blood pressure. You look skinnier than tomorrow. Oh my god. Damn, son. Why did NASA start live streaming Pluto? Yo. Billy jeans don't fit. Bro. Sir, eat a lot. Yeah. Bro uses snack chat. <laughs> Don't like an inhale. Bro, chill, bro. Burger Kingpin. All right, chat. D cup. Eggs, 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 tentation. That shit was, this is OD. Doe J Simpson. Oh, oh bro. that was all right. Bro's Tinkerbell's cousin Taco Bell. <laughs> Have 11 donate. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like that one. That one was good. That was a good time. That shit make me sad. Nah, but for real though, we could have had greatness this whole time. Damn. When you got to the league, did you? What was the first? But you know, way to make us wait. It was worth it. Y'all made grown men cry. If you have, a yes, my brother Raymond, I hope you today. Yo, ah, uh, let me get chopped cheese, ramen noodle with a honey pack. The Aki way. Sure. 
Did this nigga ask for a chopped cheese on ramen with a honey pack? Yeah, we're going back to Taiwan, right? Like, cause that that's crazy as hell. There's no way he did this. And the meat and the girls. Pause. Then we hit it with the pepper. Then we put a hash brown on the girls. Then you put it with the hold on. Then we, we that? then we hit it with the pepper. Then we pepper. put a hash brown on the girls. Then we slap the bacon on the grill. How we chop it up? How we season it up? How you gonna sit in the When the chop is ready, you hit it with cheese. What? We're pouring the Jamaica body. Last and final, we hit it with the noodles. Then we're gonna hit it with the veggies. Now we stack it up. Now we put it on top of the paper. Now we wrap it up. And the result oh, is OMG. Don't ah. forget the bag. Never, never, never. Now we serve it to my brother. There you go. Yes, my brother. I love how Ray be turned up, man. This high school. Yes, my brother Ray, man. I hope you today. Here we go. Ah, let me go. Chop. With the goofy shit. No, it they was were fired. 7 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. and this was what her bird was killed the game. Kiki. Hey. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Silence. Oh my God. It was seven a.m. in the morning, and this was what her bird was doing. Oh, is my bird a whistle? That shit. Kiki. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Hey. Silence. Why would you shut him up at the end of the verse? He was almost done. You could have let Cub finish. Y'all love just. I bet you the bird a man, and he was happy having a good time, and she wake up on that bullshit. That's what happened. Just fuck. Just mess my man's whole morning up because you won't shut him up. He was almost done with the verse. Okay, see. It's something about this nigga Chef Kenny, right? Like he sent us back about three, four hundred years with some of the stuff that he does. Chicken fried water. Sir. Grape Kool-Aid fried chicken. Kool-Aid fried chicken. I'm not in a mood because my flight there late. So I jumped on a private jet and I'm on. Great Kool-Aid fried chicken. Brother man, brother man, you, you, ha, oh, you, ha, oh. what the, what do we call this? What do we, what do we call this? This is, <sighs> oh, buddy, oh, buddy. Let me see a couple of comments. Hold on. This, this is... Mm -hmm. This nigga sent us back. <laughs> uh, that's 
why I don't get on bikes, man. I'm I'm good. Y'all can have that. You're a duck. All right. Good exercise. And just like that, my body went into shock. We tried warming up by doing some exercises, but nothing was working. So Wim forced me to take a hot shower. I'm like stuck cold. That's what's happening. I can't tell if this is hot. It's steaming. You see that? You're a duck. All right. Good exercise. And just like that, my body went into shock. We tried warming up by doing... God. Want to get a new job? <laughs> Why do, bro, folk be doing like crazy stuff, especially like, bro, I've seen people like break like ice because they live in like Alaska or some shit and then get inside the ice tub. Why? Take a cold little shower after you work out, bro, or something, or in the morning. But I feel like ice ice baths is too much. That is too much. Lord have mercy. They got the presentation down fucking fat. They got the presentation down fat. Hey, can people are nagging for me? Put the right way? Yeah. Here. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize. Hey. Can't... He's so whack for that shit. Enthusiast. He's so whack for that. That was impressive. He gets no work done. talking about come on aren't you a good citizen what do you mean grab her grab her. who the fuck finna grab this woman i will not See y'all wild. That would say, aren't you a good citizen? Are you a good police officer? Let go. Next. Okay, bro. For therapy, I blamed everyone else for my problem. You only were locked up two times. Well, well, well. No. Okay. You only were locked up two times. Well, well, well. No. Okay. Who is, who's Timmy uh, Fox? Who, who that? What's happening? Man? You only were locked up two times. Well, I didn't well, Woody. Well. That boy Woody told no. the story, boy. You only were locked up two times. Yeah. Me, I don't smoke or drink, you know what I mean? And I'm successful. You smoke and drink, right? And you successful. How do you balance, like, your habits? I think it's a personality thing. You see what I'm saying? Like, if it make you unproductive and all that, like, it ain't for you. Yeah. Me, I don't smoke or drink, you know what I mean? And... I love how, I love how uh, Ben Man asked that question. I love how he asked that question. That was great going on here oh you got some sausage i like sausage you gonna slice some dice this up. hey yo hey yo okay okay you got some more meat we chopping this up i like your technique so far oh we got bacon we got bacon i'm intrigued now what, 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 what we gonna do with this bacon here oh that must slid out like you cook that is wd 40 boy oh that little prime and she's still piping hot what you got all this beat because that's all the meat right there well, that mother tan him out to a meat salad. Look at you tossing it. With the barbecue sauce dressing. Oh, yeah. I've been meaning to try some more salads in my diet, and I think I done found it. Lettuce. I know good and damn well, because, hey, boy, I've been trying to find me a salad. Eat this here. Going on here. Oh, you got some sausage? I like sausage. I support Buddy Dream. I don't eat too many of these salads, man. Fly some diet. I'm say. A morning in my life as a Shopify small business owner. You got the Bahama Mama? Yeah. It's pretty straight, too. I got your flat bread in the back. 
I don't like these pranks. Let's, let's keep it going. You're selling soda. How much you selling the soda for? Why are you selling soda? I'm just doing this because most of the time that my parents come and sell pots, so I'll get bored and just use my tablet. What are you going to use the money for? Probably to buy like a kiddie pool that I can use next summer. Oh, uh, how many do you have in there? This is a lot. That will pay for all of them, okay? So you just want to hand them out to people who are walking by? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. I'll give you one. You're going to give me one? Yeah. Son gratis. <laughs> Thank you. De nada. Free, free soda? Yes, free. Appreciate it. God bless you all. Thanks. Thanks, man. No, no, no. Go no. I, I can't. You I sure can't. you can. You can. So right now, this has been a really hard time with the new truck. It's been a hard time for the family. Yeah. Here, bud. I don't need any more money. I'm okay. Yeah. I know you don't, but that's that's gonna be for you and the family. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. It's a hot day. Yeah, it is. That's a dope little homie. He ain't even want more money. Well, your parents raised you right, man. Yeah, you wow. You're welcome. You're selling soda. Wow. Over under 3.5 bites to finish this Korean hot dog. Going under 3.5 bites. Korean hot dog is hard. It's double cheese. What was the sauce again? Some spicy, right? Yeah. Gucci dog. Okay. I just want to let you guys know I died from hot Cheetos. 3.5 bites. Yeah. Find number one. That's really good. When I hit, like, pause, bro, but this went down my throat a little, so. <sighs> I mean, are you allowed to pause that? Because that's, that's crazy. Yeah, I feel that way. What's up, dude? What's up? Thank you. We're going to see if we can get this much this deep. Right? Like he just saying, like he's saying little shit that's just crazy himself. But it's okay. Go ahead, bro. I heard that you're in there. Let's see if we can keep this on one bite now. That's my. I don't understand. Pebbles inside you. Don't let him. I mean, they call me 2018 LeBron, so it was successful. Taste test. No, you got that. Oh, I'm asking, baby. Over under 3.5. I gotta try mochi nut. Yo, is JK the top five point guard ever? Uh, oh, that's not here. Oh, you, is, is that a real question? Top five? Yeah, JK top five. That's not a question. Are the new scoring guards considered point guards? Yes, they are Let, considered listen. point guards. Yes, yeah. But the answer to that question is still yes. 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 I got J.K. at top three. Now then I then I go. Who? Who, who better than him? Who? That's point. Yeah. Who? That's today. Yeah. Who's better than J.K. Besides Steph Curry, you have Magic. Magic, Steph, LeBron. He's not a point guard. LeBron's not a point guard. He's not a point guard. See, that's how I know that he. See, he's he's a gaslighter. Cause he just he just threw that shit out there. I don't think he even sat there and thought, this, ain't one this nigga a point guard? One Gill a point guard? She said that a skinwalker pretended to be her dog. This lady's on live with like 500 people. And she's saying, this is not my dog. This is not my dog. And I'll prove it. She's like, okay, dog, uh, sit. The dog sits, turn right? Around. Yeah. And she's like, okay, turn, turn around, around, spin around. The dog spins around. And then she's lay like, down. okay, lay down. And then the dog lay down. Dog. She says on her live, she's my like, dog, everyone, no, this is not my dog. You know why? Because my dog is new. He doesn't know any of these tricks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So she locks herself in the room. And the dog's just looking at her like this. Like she, he's understanding yeah, the yeah. that she's saying. She calls the police. Live. On the dog. Yeah, on the dog. Because she's getting freaked out. This what is at night. Uh -huh. So she locks herself in the room. Waits like an hour or so, right? Mm -hmm. Unlocks door the dog kind of like jogs in he's like going around he's looking at her yeah yeah right? yeah Bam. the dog goes into the closet right and then she grabs her flashlight yeah she's like guys watch this look why is he going in the closet and just not exiting my room mm -hmm. she puts the flashlight on she said that a skin come on bro don't don't hype the shit up like this and then turn it off about to put you onto some of the best instant ramen you can get. And no, it's not shit. Because as some of you know, I'm a special education teacher. And we just went back to school, and tonight was Meet the Teachers, so please believe me when I tell you I'm exhausted. But I still have to make dinner, so instant ramen it is. Now, is it really ramen without toppings? I've got some chashu. It's been in my freezer for 
who knows how long but it doesn't smell bad so it's probably fine it's cut pretty thin so searing the outside should warm it through now some green onions, some kamaboko, and then I'll be honest, I'm anticipating this happening. So the other day I went ahead and marinated a couple eggs. Oh, so good. Now this is what you need. I have never in my life had a better instant ramen than this. And sometimes the packaging looks like this, but it's the same thing. Now just boil your noodles. And if you want to feel extra bougie, use a little bit of that boiling water to warm up your bowl. To and warm up the bowl? To warm up the bowl? Niggas didn't want y'all warm up. Now we're just gonna add our broth back into our bowl and ladle in a couple cups of that noodle water. Lay in some more noodles and add our toppings. About to put you my guy. Wow. If you're a PC or console gamer. I'll just sit their ass up and go to just eating them. That does seem kind of cool, but very unsafe. Bro, we oh, disrespectful as hell, because that could have been an ostrich. Alright, I got the pot. Let's get some water. Let's add the ostrich egg. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Of course it's wrong. You're about to break, dude. You're about to break. Oh, no! Oh, man. Oh, my God. It didn't bro. work. This is a epic freaking fail. Of course. Of course. See, I ain't gonna lie. I love K. Martin, and I love the fact that he do shit wrong. I'll be honest. I love the fact that he do shit wrong. Hey, chef. It'd be expected, but he'll still fuck around and eat it. You're looking to get a degree. Okay. Um, this person here is a genius. Um, could they? They never burnt the shit. They never burnt the house down, you know, or the dorm down. So the fact that they can actually do this with little space is pretty, yeah, that's impressive. That was weird. Missed the whole part, you see? Oh, so you like... Okay, not I don't know if I can really get with like a little ranch, little Dorito thing you trying to do. I don't know.
Yeah, she said she wants a real man. <laughs> if you know somebody that really likes French fries, do not make them these stuffed French fries unless you are prepared to make them every day. One pound of potatoes. One Over pound of potatoes. Now you I love it. You want a ball to the. So I'm a. Beer is fucking gross. I wanted to say that. My bad, but beer is gross. And y'all be forcing yourself to drink that shit, and you know it's nasty. I mean, it's, I could say the same thing about alcohol, but at the same time, you can't. Because, you know, there ain't really nothing to mix with beer, and that should still be good. You know, you can mix things with alcohol. Or with liquor, I should say. Let's make beer your mac and cheese. You That's done, crazy. You trying to cash out. You okay, is it worth it, though? Beauty of mac and cheese? Is that is that really worth it? Let's make beer. Okay. All right. You got me. Yep. Yep. We can learn from the youth. Okay. We can we can learn from the kids. Can you make me your favorite kava order? What are we going to start with? I never had kava before. You think I'm gonna like it? I'm excited. Yo, that actually looks good. What's your choice of protein? What are you going with? Nah, I go with it. Do your favorite order. I'm willing to try it for you. Let's do this. This is like the healthy Chipotle. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Tomato, cucumber, onion. I'm glad you were making my bowl. I knew you had good taste buds for the beef. Hey, yo, chill with the glaze. The glaze is ridiculous. Get it. What sauce is that? He's doing it right. Oh my. Are you confident I'm going to like this? Yeah. I'm going to give it to you. What? It's on the offer. Give it to you on the offer. Nah, I'll pay for it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, brother. This is Grayson's order right here. First time trying kava. My man is a legend. Gave me a for free kava. Give that man a raise. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Grayson did it right. 10 out of 10. Can you make... Let's make lobster pasta. Got a white boy on my roster. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. He just hit me up on Tuesday like we're doing bad. Let me take you shopping. I told him, well, I'm a little busy. He said, damn, I'm in your city. But anyway, it's okay. Hope you have a good day. I'ma see you by the fish. Then I told him, you treat me so well. He said, catch up for sale. Matter of fact, it's bigger than my hand. Scratch that. I'ma see you with stat just because you fine as hell. I told him, well, thank you, baby. Anything for my favorite lady. Well, I got to go. They just let me know that I could pick up a Mercedes. I got hoes. In different area codes, everywhere I go. Put more food on my plate, bro. Every time I pop out, I call and they drop the low. Okay, sure. Cause I got hoes. Let's make lobster. You, you, you see? <laughs> y'all, y'all boys is funny. <laughs> y'all niggas funny. Come here, come on. Cause that's the thing. Like apparently that it's a joke now. You know, it's it's a, it's a joke because I never, you know. Yeah, that shit look crazy. But nah, um, I don't know, man. I I, I don't give a damn. I don't I don't nobody. Not sharing no damn noodle with you. I don't care about no joke or none of that. That's that shit look crazy, right? Good boy. 
That's what I meant. Come, Grayson, come. Oh my god, Grayson, this way up. Oh, he sees the squirrel. Grayson, you see that squirrel? What is that? If you're a military. What kind of goof ass question is that? Of course I'll I would smash that. I don't think I'll eat it like that though. Smoked cowboy butter versus smoked chimichurri. This is gonna be cool. Australian wagyu, Japanese wagyu. Just salt on there. Slicing up my wagyu into smaller steaks. Come on, look at that crust. I love the sizzle and the crust you can get on wagyu. See how we did. Even with a little oxidation on there, it looks amazing, dude. See how easy that cuts. Garlic, chives, parsley, thyme, paprika, red pepper flakes, Deshaun, melted butter, two lemons. Beautiful cowboy butter. Gonna need more butter. Now we're making chimichurri. Parsley, cilantro, shallot, fresno pepper, thyme, oregano, grass, okay. gravel, red wine vinegar, olive oil. And you got a beautiful chimichurri. Pour that in our jar. Try our best. Now we take that hot coal from the fire and we drop them into each of the sauces. Now we're just going to open this up, spoon out that coal, mix it up. Smoked cowboy butter, smoked chimichurri. Adding the coal and smoking it definitely levels up a traditional steak sauce. I like the smoked cowboy butter more. The chimney's more refreshing. Wow. Smoked cow... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that, bro. That, that shit right there seemed very unsafe. Very unsafe. Pray on bridges. What you do, man? You know, I'm going to get straight to the store. I need to get straight to it. What happened here? Okay. To what? Oh, so he a thief. Okay. I don't I don't understand it. Okay. I mean that's what they saying. They saying cut a thief. I didn't say that. That's what they said. I you know people, I do you know, I don't wanna get sued, so you know. That's that's what the that's what them people said. Them people said cuz was still a signs of kid forehead, that's crazy. As a grown man, I'm not. Oh, he said a kid. Sorry. Oh, I, yeah, I should be going there soon. Shay Shay, me how? Snipe, what the fuck are you saying? My bad, bro. I just, I just got back from Taiwan. Oh, okay, <laughs> hey, okay, okay. hey, you know, when, when you traveling like me. Man. Shay Shay, Mihao, <laughs> Snipe, what the, what the fuck, fuck are you fuck? saying? My bad, bro. I just, 
I just got back from Taiwan. Oh, okay, <laughs> hey, okay, okay. hey, you know, when, when you traveling like me, bro, you know, you really, I lose track of the languages, bro. I'm international snipe now. Okay, okay. Hey, missed it. International snipe man, man, boy. Okay. Back in the crib, man. I know we ain't dropping the channel in a minute, but I had to get back to, you know, the regular schedule program. 12 hour time difference, 17 hour flight. Mm. There's a lot of stuff going on, but no worries, man. We back to business. Today, we will be going to one of the most underrated, unknown restaurants in Atlanta, and that's a Fact. If you live in Atlanta, after this video, thank you. If you already know about this restaurant, then you know I ain't lying. So it's really a catch twenty two. J Money, do you like good eats? Always, man. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Mm -hmm. How man. important is good eats to your daily regimen? Come on, man. You know we praise consistency, uh -huh. man. I, I, uh -huh. I, if I don't get good eats, man, like what are we doing? It's like breathing air, man. You urgent. know what I'm saying? Urgent, urgent. <laughs> what I'm prepared to tell you is, bro, the spot that we pulling up to, top tier eats. Top bro. tier? Nobody knows. So ten out of ten. No, look. Ooh. Nobody knows. Okay, bro. okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, listen, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of different options. The menu is crazy. Mm. I'm going to keep it a bean. Mm. But I'm doing this for the people. No, we always say we for the people. We are. It's for the people. Mm. Okay. Now, I had this joint one time back in 2020. It was COVID, bro. It was the only thing open. And I said, oh, my God. I stumbled across it. I was like this. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh, 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 oh. Didn't even know it was there. Okay. <laughs> I tripped up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Slipping like LMA. Ooh, <laughs> but listen, bro. Hey, okay, bro. okay. Hey, uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Hey, uh, uh, hold on. Hey. I, I randomly walked across this spot, got some food, and I, was say, I always said, I'll be back. Four years later, mm. run it back. Now, look, I don't know if I was just hungry that night. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. And I also don't know if, if, like, if it was a fluke. For example, you go to Waffle House on the east side. It ain't the same as the Waffle House on the West Side. Because fact. it's different people back there chefing mm -hmm, you up. Mm -hmm. Now, four years ago, I can only imagine how many employees didn't been in and out of that building. Nah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? It, so if we go back and it don't hit the same, I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm ready to whoop ass. Oh, my God. I'm going to be ready to whoop ass. I'm, I'm just keeping it being. Because I'm you going to be whooping ass by yourself. Them Waffle House niggas can fight. And you talk about some, I'm whooping it. Okay. All right, <laughs> bitch, throw a fire pan at you, sir. You, you're on your own. All right, I, I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I, I came to eat. And you talk about some fighting. It's, if you don't sit your ass down, eat them motherfucking hash browns and them damn waffles like they told you they was gonna make. Eat that shit. And you in Atlanta? Yeah, them. Yeah. Mm mm. Hell, hell no, I ain't fighting nobody from Atlanta. No, sir. Absolutely not. They call their guns dicks. Are you serious? I'm not fight. Hell no. Hell no. Mm -mm. No. I, I don't want no beef with nobody from Atlanta. I don't want no smoke from nobody from Atlanta. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Those niggas will beat your ass and fuck you out there in Atlanta, sir. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? I'm recording right now, and I, and I can't be lying to my audience, bro. Uh, you, you right, you right. But you know what I'm saying? Four years ago is a long time. It, it is a long hey, time, bro. COVID, that pandemic, hey, that, hey, that was a time, bro. Some people call it pandemic. <laughs> pandemic. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I ran the records. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot. niggas in a pandemic. It was a lot. My boy Busy said that. Right. Straight taking everything, oh, nigga oh, like you, bro. Straight taking everything, bro. Subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching. And if it's not your first time watching, nigga, you should already be subscribed by now. Why am I? I'm not even talking to you because I'm pretty sure you already did. Hey, how y'all do that? Because it says subscribe and the little subscribe button went to blinking. That's cool. Did your due diligence? But anybody who knew, man, subscribe, bro. 250k by cool. the end of the year is possible. Hey, man, we here, brother. We here and. I don't know who all familiar with Atlanta, bro. But we on the old nap. <laughs> we on that nap, man. We on the old nap. So if y'all familiar with old nap, I don't know if you are, you know, but that is College Park. You know what I'm saying? South side of Atlanta. That's where it all go down, bro. You know, when I first moved to Atlanta, I lived in College Park for about six years, bro. So I'm very familiar with the area. And I ain't gonna lie, I love it over here, bro. I used to go to LA Fitness, bro. I used to be over there, nigga, Welcome All Park, getting to it. You know what I'm saying? That was just like what I was used to. So anytime I can come back, get some good eats. I told you 2020 is when I stumbled upon thee. I stumbled upon thee. Yeah, these, these my neck of the woods. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, Riverdale ain't far, bro. Hey, 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 Riverdale! Hey, hey, uh, you out here uh, lacking? 
Come on, bro. Oh, okay, oh, okay. All right. I just, I just, uh, nah, nah, nah. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't David. You okay. Mean, okay. I, 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 okay. I know. You say this you got be, it. You got this it. could be hood, uh, hood video part two. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it most deaf. Yeah. Yeah, nah, well, this the hood. Oh, this the hood? No, don't, uh, don't get Hey, bro, 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 let me tell y'all something, bro. It's very important you understand. Oh, I, I, I got to zoom in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The hood has the best food. No cap. Where I'm from, we drive past McDonald's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Drive past Wendy's, mm. make a right, go in past that Chick Fil A. Mm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, but nobody passing no damn Chick Fil A now. Hey man, let me finish the damn story. Right, my, you right. Let me finish the story. You go to a small hole in the wall restaurant. Look like <laughs> look like the health code. Maybe got a seven out of hundred. That's the spot you go into, huh? You go in there get a juicy ass steak the size of your back, huh? Best meal you ever had in your life. That is good eats. And here, it's nowhere near that. But you don't own that. And this is good ease. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jeremy, you like it? I kind of made my order without even asking. Cuddy, let's get into it, bro. Trust me or not. I don't know. My stomach was in my ass for two days, boy. Put that so, on me. So, so, so really, is they. I, I'm not going to go back. I just know he said something was okay. Yep, you heard it too. You heard that. And that's a plus. I was a little sketchy. I ain't know what it was gonna look like. It's been four years. Mm. Probably last time you got some cheese. Oh <laughs> it's God. been that long, bro. Come that, on. That what you think of me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I do. I do. Oh my God. Disrespectful. Well, I have you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tapping ass every night. <laughs> <laughs> He's more than him. Because the restaurant got music blasted in the front, but right here, I think we good. We ain't gonna be able to get a copyright. But it's something about these spots, bro, that got no AC and just a hard blowing fan. That's how you know number one, you want to trend this fast. But number two, it's good eats. It reminds me of Bando, bro. Look at all the stuff they got, the memorabilia, all like the black people stuff they got around it, just like showing love to Atlanta, bro. Atlanta artists. Oh, hold on. What's up? I just thought that they got black culture all the way through here, bro. Like James Brown, Stephon Marbury, which is fire. Like, if you don't know what Stephon Marbury, come, Stephon come on, Marbury, he, the culture he was that dude. On, he was that come dude. On, bro. You got, I mean, yep. you got Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. You got Jim Brown. You know, I'm a Cleveland guy. You know what I'm saying? You got Long, Barry right? Sanders. Come, come on, bro. man. Cam Newton. And, oh, they got Cam. Oh, they got Cam. Hey. And they got Vic down there, too. They got Vic. Come and on, more importantly, Jay Money. They got good eat. Mm. First of all, first of all. We got a bed. Okay, okay. All the bed niggas that now you what you gonna say now? What Jason Taylor say? What, 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 what they, they gonna, gonna say, say now? Come on, on now. We got a bed. That's what, number one. Number two. We're gonna eat that money. Mm, okay. Come on. Mm. You see the cheese melting on that thing right there, boy? Mm, see the, the cheese melting? Come on, bro. Hey, they ain't ready. See how hot this is. Put your hand up on that. Back in the crib, bro. Hey, what the fuck? this shit. <laughs> talk about smell tech, bro. The car was in fumes. A thousand percent, a thousand percent, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't had this forever, and I don't wanna waste no time talking, bro. I wanna get to this. So right here, we got three sauces. One is a thousand dollar sauce. Other one is like a Chipotle ranch, and the other one is a regular ranch. Mm. First off, you know how we get down. All that shit. I'm gonna try this right here without oh. nothing at all. So look, I'm taking a scoop of that cheese right there. Mm. Why do why mm. do like my it's mic go down all, in thousand? I don't like that. This shit was thirty dollars, by the way. A little expensive, not a little. Expensive, but you get a lot of food. Look at all this food, bro. Mm. Jesus, can't even fit it all on the floor. Come on, I bro. feel like, come on, bro. This is what, what we came for, Jay Money. My audio had to be trashed this whole time. Mm. Mm. I see a green, which high key pissed me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm cap nine out of ten, bro. Nine, nine out of ten. Mm. They did. What is what mm. the fuck is he eating? What, what we came for, Jay Money. Mm. Mm, I see a grin. <laughs> Y'all know I'm cap. Nine out of ten, bro. Nine? Nine out of ten. Mm. They did not let me down, bro. I was nervous because it was empty in there. Number one, there was two people, but it was kind of empty. And I ain't been there in years. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, this might taste better than the time I had it back then. Mm. Four years ago, you still got them taste buds from four years ago? Well, what bro, the fuck? I never forgot about it. Mm. I'm gonna try to, 
Which one is this? Uh, um, bro. Drizzle some of that on there. Bow. Ooh, see how I roll down like that? Bow. See, money ain't gonna lie, bro. Should have bought two. Mm. <laughs> Should have bought two. $30. I don't know. Hey, bro, no, nah, fuck that. That's worth two. Mm. <laughs> Should have bought two. $30. I don't know. $30 for what? That little plate right there? You talk about, wait, hold on. Ain't no way. Cause you talk about that's, that's, no, this, that this plate right here, Hey, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. With that being said, I'm get I'm gonna get up out of here. Cause that's that's foolishness. All right. Why are y'all charging any plate for thirty dollars? You guys to be out your mind. Oh, is really charging thirty dollars for a plate. I'm gonna see y'all later, man. Y'all, y'all have a good night. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like, but see, this need to talk about make America great again, make food great again. Okay, make prices good again. All right, let's we're well, great. Okay, motherfucker, like, come on, bro. We we got serious stuff we need to talk about. The fact that y'all niggas in FDA, y'all y'all just giving out bullshit food. You know what I'm saying? Y'all approving it. This is what y'all doing. Well, it's all right, though. But I'm going to tell you what. How the hell are, is the food quality going to go down? But the prices go up. I found that funny. That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. Y'all take care, man.